It's been a week since Donald Trump survived an assassination attempt. His former physician has now revealed that Trump's gunshot wound missed his head by a quarter of an inch. The former U.S. president faced an assassination attempt during a campaign rally in Pennsylvania. One of the multiple gunshots graced through the upper part of his right ear. Former White House physician and current Texas lawmaker Ronnie Jackson has written the first detailed account of the injury. He wrote, and I'm going to quote him here, the bullet passed coming less than a quarter of an inch from entering his head and struck the top of his right ear. Jackson added that he flew to New Jersey after the rally and has been in charge of treating Trump's wound ever since. The physician also said that the wound was about two centimeters wide and had damaged the cartilage as well. Due to the bleeding, it had experienced swelling, but Jackson reassured that the wound has started to heal, clarifying that the bandage around Trump's ear was to stop small amounts of bleeding. He also mentioned that no stitches were required and the wound was healing naturally. Ronnie Jackson was first appointed to the White House Medical Unit under President George Bush. He became the president's doctor under Barack Obama in 2013. Then in 2018, he had praised Trump's great genes and stated that he could live for up to 200 years.